Hi, my name is Patrick, and this is Prep Mindful, your daily video practice in mindful test prep. Coming at you today with an SAT math question. This was question 7 from section 3, the no calculator math section. On the SAT that was administered in April of 2017, pause the video. Right there, you can pause the video, take a crack at it yourself, and then when you're done, you can unpause the video, watch the explanation, see how you did. Could be good. Because we're getting in there. It reads, x plus 2y equals 16. 0.5x minus y equals 10. The solution to the system of equations above is x comma y. What is the value of x? Well, we've got ourselves a system of equations, and what we want is x. So if we're going to solve by combination, we'd like these y's to drop out. So we need the coefficients on the y terms to be the same. Well, looks like if we multiply this bottom equation by 2, we would end up with negative 2y, which could be kind of convenient. So let's do so. Distribute this 2, we get x minus 2y equals 20. Stack that right under our x plus 2y equals 16, and we can combine the two equations. x plus x, 2x. 2y minus 2y, well that's 0, they drop out. Goodbye, y. And then 16 plus 20 is 36. So now we have 2x equals 36, divide both sides by 2, and x equals 18. Super cool. We could solve this problem another way, by isolating for one variable, and then substituting that into the other equation. But you'll find on the SAT the combination is usually the most efficient way to solve a system of equations. We multiplied the bottom equation by 2, and then we were left with a simple algebraic equation with just x. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, why not like it and subscribe, or however else you choose to express appreciation on this platform. Or if you have any questions about this or any other problem, you can hit me up in the comments below, or email me at prepmindful at gmail.com. In the meantime, my name is Patrick, and this has been Prep Mindful.